Hi everyone, my name is Ilya from DM Trading Bulgaria. Today is Friday, it's the end of this trading week, but uh, we still would like to share uh, some valuable and useful, hopefully, content with you. Uh, that's what I'm going to do in this video today. We are going to talk about breakouts and fakeouts. And more importantly, how to take advantage of a breakout and how to manage your trade if you get stuck in a fake out. But first, let me show you what a breakout and a fake out is. So, let's start with a breakout. Now, imagine you have this price movement. What do we see here? First thing first, we see that here we have a resistance. Obviously, we are going to uh, make this example with the resistance. However, I'll draw a support down here. I don't have a green marker, as you can see, but... So, this is our support. And this is our resistance. We can put even those, so it's better. Now, what we expect here? We will either see a bounce from the resistance and the price will go down. But here we are talking only about breakouts. So what we need to see, if we imagine that this is the H4 time frame, we need to see the H4 candle break through that resistance area and close above it. This is what the breakout is called. From that point, uh, let's mark this breakout. From that point, we expect the price to continue further up. So we can take advantage of that, but we are going to talk a bit more about it later on a real graph. Now I'm just showing you what the breakout is. It's similar with the support. The candle has to close below the uh, support zone. Now, what is a fake out? Again, we have the same price movement. We have the support down here. And we have this resistance here. So, a, a fake out is when we actually have a breakout. This is the H4 candle, it closes above that zone. So, we, what we expect? We expect the price to go up, right? But right on the next candle, or like a candle after that, the pair actually goes down and uh, in this case a bearish candle is formed and it, the price goes below this resistance area. This is what a fake out is. Now, we are gonna get back to the graph. I'm going to show you a few examples of breakouts, a few examples of fake outs and I'm going to tell you how to take advantage of the breakout and how to manage your trade if you get stuck in a fake out. Let's get back to the charts. So, we are back at the graphs. Let's see a few breakouts and a few fakeouts. This is the Euro USD currency pair on the H4 time frame. And actually, we had a breakout uh, quite recently, a few hours ago. Uh, you can see how the price was moving here in sort of a consolidation or range. Uh, we can place a resistance area on top here, let's say like that. I won't go into details with the resistance and supports, just to show you uh, how a fake out and a breakout works. And we have this support area down here. So you can see the price uh, went out of the uh, about the resistance area, kind of this candle, and currently continues further up. Now, okay, the resistance should be a bit like that, it's better. So, in this case, you can take advantage of this uh, breakout of the resistance area by opening a trade at the end of the candle itself. So, somewhere here, where I point, pointed this arrow. And as you can see, this trade so far is developing good. Uh, on this trade, I would place my stop loss inside um, below the resistance or inside in this uh, 
sort of a consolidation here or uh, even better would be to place it further below, maybe even outside of uh, that consolidation somewhere here and just ride the wave up, which you expect. Now let's go back on the graph and see uh, if there are any other um, breakouts or fakeouts. So here is it's kind of huge resistance, but we should take the whips here uh, in this case. So this is our resistance here again. And as you can see, we have a breakout right here. Uh, the first attempt failed. You can see the price was pushed inside that resistance zone. But uh, on the next candle, the price went uh, above it. So uh, this you can take advantage of this breakout as well. You can place your entry here. But as you can see, it turns out this to be a fake out. The price quickly goes below the resistance and actually continues in a downtrend for quite some time. Of course, you can try and take advantage of the fake out itself, but we are not going to talk about that today. Uh, only what you should do. So you take an entry here. Let's say you place your stop loss uh, somewhere below this broken resistance, somewhere here. And as soon as the price returns inside the resistance, so basically on this candle, I would advise you to close uh, the bigger part of your trade, even the whole trade, in order to minimize the losses. Yes, uh, you will still be losing um, some money in this case. Right, this, but you won't be losing all of this. Now here, it's not the best example of a fake out because as you can see, probably this was caused by news, uh, this reaction, but let's go further back and see if we can find uh, a better fake out to uh, take advantage of. So, ah, I think this would be a good spot. So we have again a resistance here. Actually, in this case, we have a regular breakout. Uh, let me just change the color of this resistance. Okay, so you have the breakout. Now, this breakout is a bit different because it happens with a huge bullish candle, as you can see. And uh, I would avoid taking this trade because this movement is huge, a lot of buying, buying power uh, went on that candle and there is a big chance that the continuation up won't be that strong. Now, there are a lot of factors you have to uh, take into account, but uh, even if you take it, you can uh, safely exit somewhere here, even though on a small loss, but as you can see, the price is reversing. Uh, so moving, back looking for a fake out, a good fake out. So we have a level here, as far as I see. This is a support level. Now here it would be good to spot the fake out. You can see that the price breaks uh, the support level on this candle. Let's say you take this trade, you enter, you place your stop loss somewhere inside, maybe uh, based on previous levels, you can place it somewhere, I don't know, here, would be good, I think, yeah. So you place your stop loss somewhere there and you see that the price reverses on you. Now, the best thing to do here is just close your trade on this candle or if you miss this one, on this one. Uh, that will save you up some money because you will actually, yeah, you will lose this part. Let me turn it to blue. But if you don't close it, as you can see, the price reverses here that after that fake out and will go all the way up to your uh, stop loss. So you will be losing actually a lot more, two times more even. So, this is how you should manage your trade when you get stuck in a fake out. It's best to close your position or at least the bigger part of your position uh, in order to minimize the losses and uh, that way 
when you are right and when you catch a nice breakout, which is uh, legit, like in this case, for example, you will cover those losses and you will also make a profit. It's a lot easier to cover a loss of, for example, if you invest at 1% here, this is around 0.5% loss than to um, cover a whole percent loss. So remember that for breakouts and fakeouts, if you are using them, they can be quite profitable, but you should know how to manage your trade in a fakeout. Thank you very much. Uh, this is all for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it is useful to you. We'll see you again next week. Have a nice weekend, everyone.